All right, we're gonna go just like my necklace with full ninja gear here, Kanai and Ninja Star. Let's see if we double it up. Assassin takedown. Here we go. Full flip. Oh, <laughs> dude! What up, Rep Pack? It's your boy here, King Reptar. Back with another video. Oh God, that feels good. Back with another video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And if you guys aren't, you know the drill. A little rusty flip. Oh, oh yeah, that probably should have sprayed some WD-40 in that. Or not. But it's about to get a whole lot brighter because your boy is here. And today, got my sword on. I got my, well, I got my pants on, but I always have those on. Just in general, I have, I'm ready. I'm ready. We are going to be having an amazing video. I know it's been a while. I am sorry. I'm sorry. It's been some time. I've been stockpiling some content. And if you guys are wondering where I've been at, check out down below. I've been on ADHD's Life. I have a new channel just called Marcus Jones, where it's all types of vlogs about Nickelodeon and random stuff. So go check out that. That's where I've been, but I've also been working on some new content for this channel. So that's where I've been. I've been on those two channels working really hard and also working on some content for this channel. And that stuff's gonna start coming in really, really fast. But this is kind of just a surprise pop-up video because I got a box sent over by Bud Magazine, which is literally like the freaking McDonald's of weapons. I mean, I know I freaking always hype up my man, Flynn Thompson of Cold Steel, legendary deity, but is actually one of the biggest companies in the world. We've probably seen their magazines before or their brochures. They said this box. Let's get into it right now. We're gonna go through a couple items and then we're gonna grab them out and see what kind of dope freaking stuff they sent us. Let's get into it. All right, how you feeling? You feeling good holding the ADHD's world camera again, Parker? Yeah, feel pretty, uh, pretty, pretty uh, nostalgic. <laughs> yeah, ready to get wet? What? Or you know, we always get stuff on us. Oh, you mean like sticky? I mean, I know I look pretty good out there, but oh. <laughs> are you ready to get soaked? I still like the terminology, but I like the enthusiasm. All right, <laughs> so we're gonna need a knife, obviously, to open this up. And if you're new to this channel, I I'm wearing the, I'm wearing unboxing knife red. Okay, I wore this today for this video because, and you know, if you've seen the other channel, I haven't been using the unboxing knife and that's because it's been here. I mean, I'm kind of saving it for this. Maybe I'll start taking it with me, but. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Wait, wait. Are you, are you really gonna get a sword? Get a sword, you know, right there. You're not gonna use that sword? No, Parker, the sword's, the sword's mostly for drip. I, it, it, I mean, it's actually pretty inconvenient to walk around here with a sword on a day-to-day -day basis, but <laughs> the knife is a lot more useful, so we're gonna call him, okay? And people know him. This guy's new, he's gotta work his way in. He doesn't even go here. He's a new guy, he's gotta, <laughs> he's gotta shadow people around. Yeah, exactly. The unboxing knife is a perfect coach for him. <laughs> so long, farewell. I'll bid you on a... Do you know, do you know the rest of that song? I do. No, do you know the rest of that song? Would you shut up? We've been here! We've been here for months! For months! It's only been three weeks. You've read the comments! Months! We have sat here doing nothing! He's running a whole other channel right now, and he's not even using me! Froggy! He isn't using me either. I'm over here like a used, depleted ball sack. My muscle mass is depleted from the lack of movement. Your muscle ass can wait because I'm living still. That's the problem. He forgot about me. I'm still alive. Now, all I thrive off is vanity. And then he strips me of it. What kind of logic is that? The dad. What? Did you, did you see that? You got, what? You got a hair on your chest. Yeah, they're eating the syrup straight out my chest. We really gotta get moving. But did you see that the knife was moving? Shazam! Not that my line. Um. The knife was moving. It did it again. I think something's happening. Something's moving. He might be filming out there. I can oh wait. Listen, listen. I can hear his irritating voice. Oh my god, his laugh is annoying. <laughs> anyway, let's see if it moves again. <laughs> it's happening. Okay, I'm gonna sit on this baby and ready for launch. I'm gonna have to two hand this. What <laughs> Here we go. I can feel the magnetism. Oh yeah, baby. I love the way that trembles in my chest. No way! I'm stuck to the shell! There's ants on my shoulder! Ah! Motherfucker! Whoa! Oh, my precious little head! Come back! Come back! Come back! Oof! Two handed or not, we made it happen. Alright, let's pop it open. Let's see what we got here. You guys know the drill. This is the whole box. If you guys want to see a part two to this video, let me know in the comments down below. All right, here we go. A little, little peek for a second. Three, two, one. Ass blast! Oh, no, 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 no. oh yeah. Go ahead, get some toilet paper and wipe your ass. Because it was blasted. After that blasting. <laughs> All right, so we have this open. Let's go ahead and grab our first item out. All right, I'm going to grab something small just to start us off and give us a warm up. I feel this right here. Damn, man. This thing's rich as hell. It comes with bands. <laughs> 
Oh, damn! How many people flinch? How many people do you think flinch? <laughs> yeah, probably a lot, because that was a good shot. All right, so our first item out of here, look at this. Undercover Twin Punch Daggers. That is a sick name. <laughs> Sorry, I want to I be that. I want to be the Undercover Brother Twin Punch <laughs> Dagger. Or maybe the last word could be different. But this whole box should be filled with ninja gear. So the thing is, is like, this is sick because the point of a ninja being... Oh, that is badass, dude. It's actually... I thought it was going to be one in here and one in here. But it looks like we have a second one just all together. All right, so we got this release. I mean, what do you think you could like? It's kind of sick because you can pull both of them out. <laughs> <laughs> but once you have them out, dude, that's better than brass knuckles, you ask me. But the... The problem Ooh. I see is like, how can that not hurt your fingers? Because you have this platform inside that holds it so you can keep your hand from like actually pushing in. Let's find out if these things are throwable, which will be sick for a ninja weapon. And let's of course see if we can do some body shots into something out there with these twin punch daggers. Well, damn. Yeah, man, got my new sword holder right here. So I don't have to have that ghetto ass belt I had at the intro. Yeah, it took a little <laughs> while for it to come in. I wonder why it took so long for this to come in? Why did it take so long for it to come in? Demon Slayer cosplays. <laughs> oh, they want, they went uh, authentic. Exactly, man. Cosplays for Demon Slayer have taken these things out of the market, but now I have my official strap for the channel. But anyway, let's get started with our first items here. Got the double fist dagger. Both me and Parker are a little bit worried about what kind of impact damage will be caused from using these. We're gonna try them out. I got my Kashi shirt on. We're in a ninja vibe today because this is the ninja weapon video. Let's see what kind of rapid strikes we can get with these and also see if we can use them as a mini kunai as well. All right, so we're gonna start off slow and just use some slashes and some punches with these and see if they work. Let's try it out here. Oh, that didn't really feel like much. I just feel like a punch on one's butt cheek. <laughs> All right. Okay. I mean, it's not really doing But is it hurting your fingers? No. Damn. Damn. Dude! Imagine that as somebody's neck. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, these guys remind me of little mini kunai. So we're gonna try them out as throwers. Let's see it real quick. But we gotta start off with something swift. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Now let's find out if it's actually throwable. Ooh. Oh yes. <laughs> Very much so. Damn. All right, here we go. I call this one the two for one special. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't a solid hit on the second one, but let's back it up and finish him off. He don't want it. He does want it. <laughs> they always want it. So we found out these are super, super throwable for sure. But we have one more test and that's the multi-jab. It's just a kind of a small item, so I figure we pack it with a lot of tests. But anyway, guys, again, if you guys are enjoying this video, make sure I smash that like button. I know it's been a while and it's gonna be a little while before the next video, but once it starts going, it's gonna start going. We're gonna start with some strikes here, but I'm not gonna lie, like you said, I kind of can feel like a little bit of like a give. I'm like, you know what? That could be a little scary. This is obviously a lot harder than skin, but let's just see how it would work. And this is no glove, so do not try it at home. I'm not gonna go too fast, because I don't wanna risk, you know, end up I with myself, especially when I don't know what the resistance like yet. So here we go. Start off slow. Well, there you go. Damn, I did feel a lot of bounce back though. I, I don't see anything wrong, like. But you definitely do feel resistance, like it hurts a lot, but not any more than just punching somebody. All right, let's move on to our next item. All right, so we kind of like filmed the reveal of stuff uh, first for once, so that went great, I'm assuming. I think that was my favorite thing. That was the best thing ever. All right, let's get into the next item here and let's see what we got. I see this, and this was what I saw in the box when we did the little three second opener, and that's why I was, I'm aiming for that. We got a giant ninja star. Look at this, dude. Look at the back and all of these statistics. We got a sturdy nylon strap. We got a belt loop constructed of 1065 high carbon steel. You know nothing about 1065 carbon, carbon steel. I you know about low carbon steel? Yeah, you know about that 565 steel. How dare you spew 565 steel to me? Yeah, you be working with that silverware, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we got black oxide coating and a measurement of seven inches across. Perfectly balanced. That is a bold claim. And this is by United Cutlery, which is, United Cutlery is kind of like your, it's kind of like that middle brand. It ain't quite up at the top. It's kind of like a Burger King or a, Burger or a Wendy's. Wendy's? What's up with you and fast food today? Like you... I am remarkably hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay, but first off, you, you cannot say Burger King's middle class. Burger King's a middle class. Uh, maybe, maybe Wendy's, sure. But yeah. like, Burger, no, no, no. 
What are you thinking? Model class? High class? You think oh, high Bur class? Burger King is bottom. Oh, okay. I was like, just because no. you're the king, <laughs> don't mean he is royalty. No, they have it their way, and their way is high profit margin. <laughs> so you're saying Burger King is bottom tier. Bro, they sell 10 chicken nuggets for a dollar. Yeah. Think of, yeah, come on. Think about that. All right, let's check this out, though. We got this silica packet. I, you know, I saved these for a little mint. <laughs> <laughs> a little dinner time. <laughs> yeah, do not eat those. That is a joke. Here is the Ninja Star, dude. Oh, man. I almost kind of want more than one of these. I kind of want to order multiple. Is it perfectly balanced? Hey! That's pretty balanced. On shoe. I wouldn't say perfectly. Hey, you know what? That is pretty balanced. You have to say you flipping it doesn't mean like it's not balanced. <laughs> yeah, but it's pretty good. And let's go find out if it's actually sturdy. And I guarantee you, I think I'm going to be able to throw this thing pretty damn hard because of the way the leverage is built on it. So let's check it out and see if we can get some dope freaking Naruto-esque shots. And on the topic of Ninja Stars, if you guys want, a lot of you guys for years have been asking me how to throw knives and there's a tutorial on that. I can't upload it on this channel because I'm pretty sure it's going to get age restricted. So I upload it on another channel. You can go check that out down below. You know what, man? I'm really liking the ninja theme to this box yeah i can't even see what's coming next all right here we go giant ninja star let's try it out we got our substitution log over there let's see if it works oh man that's a <laughs> for real shinobi actual ninja they would use them as distractions but that one i think might be lethal oh yeah <laughs> all right we're gonna go just like my necklace with full ninja gear here kanai and ninja star let's see if we double it up assassin takedown here we go full flip Dude, there that we was go. sick. You got a double tap, always. All right, guys, so me and Parker have been doing a little bit of training over here with my hand-eye coordination as far as moving targets go. Here's a clip. Oh! Some good hand-eye. That's some good hands and some, some good eyes. All right, but let's see if I can try it out with a ninja star and see if we can do a chop test. Dude. <laughs> there we go, a perfect little slice off, dude. You want a piece? Not after that obliteration. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're all sticky and icky. If you want to clean that off, smash the like button. That's how that that's how that works. All right, we're gonna see what kind of destructive power this Ninja Star really has. Let's do it. All right, first off, we gotta bloody the water. Oh, <laughs> dude! Water bloody. Now here we go. All right. All right, so the last item I had to grab out of here because it's another push dagger, dude. But this one's giant and it's by Gil Hibben, which is literally one of the best knife makers out there. If you guys throw knives, he makes most of them that are of high quality. Here we go, let's pop this thing open and see what kind of damage we can do with one punch. All right, let's pop open Gil's box. <laughs> <laughs> Gilly's, <right? laughs> Gilly's old box. <laughs> oh, dude, this knife comes with a certificate of authenticity. Collaboration series will Gil Hibble. Gremlin push dagger. <laughs> that is sick. Gil Hibben has created some of the world's most iconic knives, like the steak knife and the butter knife. What? The butter knife? No, it doesn't say that. <laughs> how, how do you date that back? Like, it's just a piece of metal. But it says, it says most iconic knives and in a storied career spanning more than six decades, Parker. And Paul Erler has designed some of the most visually striking fantasy knives on the planet. Damn, Mr. Erler. It's almost like there's no other place that's creating knives than this planet. <laughs> They've collaborated once again to create a one-of-a-kind masterpiece. You know what, though, dude? Usually they're, they are, oh my god, I'm not gonna lie, though, because usually when you get these kind of shits, you know, like these weird, crazy designs, they're always bad from our experience, right? Actually, yes. Like, anytime it's a gauntlet with, like, a skull or, like, they're you know. They're very much for display. They're very much for display, like I said. Like, that, this actually looks, go ahead and grab that sheet, dog. These really feel healthy duty. Yeah, like, it feels like an actual actually good weapon for the fantasy design. Let's pop it open. Oh, you know what? No, dog, dude, that's really razor sharp. Let's try to carefully get this out because it's razor sharp. Oh my God. Oh my Lord. Let's see it. I literally see myself. That's a punch. And you can actually probably grip it up here too. Oh my God. a good idea. Look at this. Look what I could do. I can grip it wrong. <laughs> We're gonna go outside, dude, because I think this is, this beats a brass knuckle any day of the week. All these sides are razor sharp. We can literally punch through anything with this. Let's go outside and try it out. All right, we're gonna be using the Gil Hibbit 1200 pieces. I'm calling this thing the Blunder Thunder. You ready for this? <laughs> I, I guess so. <laughs> you ready to be blundered? I, I like thundered more. By the thundered. Okay. Good. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Going for like a straight up the neck injection. Here we go. 
Oh! I got in my ear. I got in my asshole. <laughs> I got everywhere. Oh. oh! Oh my god. The blunder. The sunda. Yes. Honestly, this one hurts your hand more than those little ones did. Oh, does it? Yeah, like the way that this thing, like, honestly, the this piece digs into your fingers really, really hard right here, to be honest. That maybe I have like such big hands that it's hard for me to use it, but I don't think that's the case. <laughs> Alright, let's see if this thing has any speed. Let's try it out. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, dude. This thing's solid. Oh, oh okay, okay. Paint the walls, why don't you? <laughs> that was disgusting. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be ginger with it. All right, let's try out one more big target with this. All right, so all tricks aside, I gotta say this thing. Man, we're you, stop! What are you doing? What? You're like trying to come up with stuff to say as you're glaring. Oh, I'm not. I just have shakes. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my fault. Gil Hibbert made a blinding device. Okay, sorry about my shakiness, but let's see what kind of damage this thing would realistically do with one big punch. I mean, the whole thing of this is to make a punch as cataclysmic as possible. We could do tricks all day. Let's see how much of an actual impact one big punch would do on our target here. All right, so let's just say hypothetical situation. Hypothetical. This is a baby. A little too hypothetical okay, there. Okay, maybe not baby. <laughs> maybe like a, something we don't like. Right now, we're in the White House. Look, this guy's about to hit the nuclear arms bomb. <laughs> nuclear <laughs> arms bomb. You don't know what the nuclear arms That just sits there in the White House. <laughs> well, yes, back there is two pairs of arms that yeah. just sit there with nuclear powers portraying from Okay, him. gotcha, gotcha. So he's about to hit the, hit the nuclear arms button. Right. Okay? He's moments. We have one punch. Let's see if we can take him out. And no other punch. weapons. No other weapons. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, how much damage are we do with one punch? Hey, son of a bitch, this is my country. Oh! Hold it, you held it. You, have, you are currently holding it. Ah! Bruh. Oh wait, your nuclear, I ain't gonna say, I think you can take it out of one hit. That's in the spine that I, ah! I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure I smash that like button, subscribe if you're new here. Check out this video screen right here, which is the last world video. I know it's been a while, guys, and give me a week or two before the next video comes out. But once they start coming, they're really gonna be coming. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And as always, I'll see you beautiful motherfuckers in the next one. Adios.